Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I'm back with a what I got for Christmas video for you. Sorry it's a bit late. I had kind of hoped to do it earlier, but I have just been like surrounded by dissertation work. My dissertation is due in about three weeks time and at the moment I do not feel prepared at all. Um, so I've just like literally any spare minute is just writing and researching and stressing out and crying and yeah but anyway I really wanted to film this video for you so I thought I'm just gonna take a bit of time out chill time because I think you know sometimes you can just do work for too long and I thought I would just film this video for you um I kind of just wanted to I don't know give a bit of a disclaimer I know some people don't like this kind of video and if that's you then just you know don't watch it you don't have to um, but I really enjoy watching and filming these videos because I like to see what other people have got for like Christmases and birthdays um, and it gives me like ideas of things I can buy for other people or things you know that I might want to put on my own wish list and also I think it's a nice way of like showing that you're grateful for the things that you've received and yeah just kind of sharing um, a few of the bits and bobs that you got so I hope that you will enjoy seeing the things that I got I'm not including everything um, I've kind of just picked bits and bobs from sort of what I, what I got um, it doesn't mean like I want to say this now the things I picked it doesn't mean that they're like my favorites and everything else I didn't like so you know if you got me something and you don't see it please don't feel offended I just had to kind of try and pick a selection because if I if I tried to show you everything it just would have got a bit like busy and long so yeah I've just sort of cherry picked a uh, sort of selection of things that I think you might enjoy seeing and I will try and remember who they're from but I'm just I'm terrible with my memory like I write it all down on my computer so that I can send like little thank you notes out which are also going to be ridiculously late this year because of the dissertation um but yeah when I actually try and remember it just doesn't happen so I'm just going to get started because this is going to take a while and uh yeah I will just I don't think what I won't what I won't do is I won't kind of just say like oh thank you for this thank you for that because otherwise it's just going to be one long like thank you but if you did get me a present or even if you didn't and you sent me a card or a message you know just those make me feel happy like getting a little card in the post and we stuck them all up in our um kitchen you will have seen in my Christmas video hopefully um that that's what we do with our cards so yeah like please people don't feel like you have to buy presents for me but you know I just I appreciate these anyway I'm rambling let's get started these are no like in no particular order whatsoever I'm just gonna pick and go so the first thing that I got and I think this was from my mum um basically I showed in my vlogmas like um, an advent calendar that I make um and so some of my what would be Christmas presents my mum will put in the advent calendar or well she doesn't actually put them in there because they don't fit but um it, like the number corresponds with the present so it just like because I get quite overwhelmed at Christmas and I find that doing this it just spreads it out a little bit more and makes me feel less overwhelmed and it means I, I can appreciate things more so these came in the advent calendar um and they are a pair of like slipper socks from Kath Kidson they are the Peter Pan like Tinkerbell range I've already I got the Tinkerbell um pajamas for my birthday so these will go really nicely they're really like soft and squidgy I love it when you get new socks and they're all squidgy um and then they've got the sort of little like sticker bits on the bottom so that you don't slip um I don't think they do these anymore if there's anything that I can find um that is still available I will link it in the description bar but I've got a feeling they don't because we tried to get these for somebody else and we couldn't find them but they do do like other slipper socks and they're really nice quality and yeah they're actually called bed socks but I'm a bit funny about wearing socks in bed I don't know if I'm the only one um I will only ever wear socks if I'm absolutely freezing I just don't like having something on my feet when I'm in bed but I will be wearing these around the house and keeping my feet warm because I do get really cold feet so that is those I, I was then lucky enough to get a couple of Pandora charms I got a feeling that they were both from my mum I think I had one in my stocking and one was in my advent calendar um, so I will try and get close-ups of these because you're not going to be able to see them but the first one I got is um, it looks like a little like uh, snow globe it's kind of um, 
well yeah it looks like a snow globe and then it's like dark blue and it's got a little sort of Santa and reindeer and silver and then little trees and stars um, and it's just really pretty and really sort of it's very festive but quite sort of subtle and I quite like that. I wasn't like as impressed with the Pandora Christmas range this year like usually they have quite a few cute like little gingerbread men and like Father Christmases and I just yeah we didn't my mum and I were kind of like oh we're not quite so keen but there were a couple and these were the two that I really liked so the second one is more of a sort of it's like a flat circle um, and it's got like a little wintry scene with snow and a couple of Christmas trees and a little snowman um, I think it's the same on both sides yeah so yeah I got those two from my mum to go on my Pandora bracelet and I love I really do love collecting the uh, Pandora charms I've already filled up one bracelet and I what I do is I like write when I get each charm and like if it's for a certain like occasion I'll write down what it is because I just think it'll be nice when I'm like old <laughs> to look back on it and kind of think oh you know that's what each one represents because that's what I tend to do with the charms I don't kind of just buy them you know all the time I get them to like represent certain certain events so it's quite a nice way of like remembering things so these two will go on my new Pandora bracelet which isn't very full yet so they will look good on that then from my mum I also got the uh, YSL black opium floral shock uh, eau de parfum I remember testing this out I think it was when was it oh it was when we went to Ireland and we had a little look around in the duty free and I was just like you know when you go around and you kind of sniff things and stuff and I was sniffing the YSL black opium like range and just really really like the floral shock one um there's a few different ones in the range there is just like the normal black opium I think there's another one as well but this was the one that really like went down well it's like reflecting really badly on the light but um that's it um, so I got the 30 mil, and this just smells so nice. I can't, I don't even know, I can't describe it to you now because I can't remember exactly what it smells like. But yeah, I really like this, so I'm looking forward to wearing that. Okay, so next up I got a few DVDs. The first one was from my brother and sister-in-law Richard and Lisa and my little nephew Noah. And it was La La Land, which I'm quite excited about. I went to see this in the cinema with my dad, um, and we both really enjoyed it. So it'll be quite nice for my mum to be able to see it because I don't think she, she didn't, well she didn't come to the cinema with us and I don't think she's seen it yet and it's like the kind of thing that I know she will really love. So I'm looking forward to watching that. And then I also got a couple of Disney DVDs to add to my collection. If you don't know, I collect the Disney um, like classics and the Disney Pixar DVDs but I try to collect them in the limited edition covers. So I actually knew I was getting these because my mum and I saw they had some in Asda and I bought myself a couple and then she asked which ones I didn't have um, and she bought me a couple more. So uh, we got Brave which I actually did have in just like normal DVD but as I said I like to get the limited edition covers. So uh, yeah, I got this one which is number 13 in the range and then I also got Tangled which so this is the limited edition cover if you didn't know they're like the shiny ones basically and I've got quite a good like collection now if I remember I'll try and like add a bit uh, a bit of footage just to show you my collection um, but it's getting to the point now where I've got the ones that you tend to like get in the, su in the supermarkets and I need to now like start getting them more like unusual ones I suppose and they're the ones that tend to cost more money and are harder to find so it's getting more difficult now but I am determined that I am gonna like have this collection of Disney DVDs and that it will be something that I can like pass down to if I have any children um, I mean I yeah I'm a massive Disney fan and I'm determined that if I have any children they will also be massive Disney fans um, so yeah, I think it's just a nice way of like collecting them and they look so pretty like all together in their shiny, um, what do you call them, sleeves. So yeah, I, I'm excited to watch them because I've, well, I've seen these ones before but they will look very nice in my collection. Uh, I then got some shower, what do you call these, shower foams. I saw these in a YouTube video, who's, I can't, it might have been Zoella's actually, I can't remember. Um, and like, 
she described them and I just thought, oh my gosh, they sound amazing. And I thought, oh, they're going to be really like expensive ones. And it turned out they were just from Superdrug and not very expensive at all. So my mum kind of like filled my stocking and my advent calendar with some of these. So they are these ones, which are the Bilou, Bilou? I don't know. I think it's French, maybe. Um, creamy shower foams and they come in like all different fragrances. So I have got Tasty Donut and they just smell amazing, like good enough to eat. So there's Tasty Donut, there is Fizzy Berry, uh, Cocoa Cocktail, which I'm guessing is coconut, uh, Pink Melon and Cotton Candy and I am so excited for showers, like I don't think I've ever been this excited to have a shower. Um, but yeah, and I love the fact that there's foam as well. I don't know what it is about foam. I just think it's really fun to like squish it out and it all comes like fluffy and yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, they all smell amazing. And as I said, you can get them in Superdrug for like a couple of pounds. So I don't know if there's any more uh, sort of scents or whether I've got all of them. But seriously, if you get a chance, like go and smell them because they smell absolutely amazing. Okay, the next thing I got was something else that was in my advent calendar. And it is something that I have been wanting to get for ages but it's one of those things that you kind of would only treat yourself to like it's not something that i would necessarily just go and buy like on a whim and it is the mary luminizer um highlighter shimmer eyeshadow from the balm and yeah it's like well it's one of those like cult beauty classics i think basically like every blogger and youtuber i ever like watch or read seems to have the mary luminizer highlighter and i have tried it in like the store before when you can kind of like swatch it and really liked it so i thought i'd put it on my list and my mum very kindly let uh, went and got it for me so i haven't actually opened it yet it's still in the like shrink wrap so i can't open it and show you it but I can promise you it is really, really pretty. So I'm looking forward to doing some makeup with that. Going back to the Disney theme, uh, I also got a couple of little Simpsons. Um, I got this one, which is Patch, I think. Yeah, Patch from 101 Dalmatians. And then I also got Marie from the Aristocats. Um, if you didn't know, I also collect the smallest Simpsons. Um, I collect these ones, which are like the soft, fluffy ones. And I also collect the like little squishy, like plastic ones. Um, and I'm getting like a reasonable collection now. Um, although I kind of feel like I haven't got that much space to put them. So my room is just looking more and more like Disney-fied every day, which I don't think is a bad thing. Um, but yeah, these two will uh, look really cute in my collection, so thank you for them. They came from um, a couple of my friends, so that was really nice of them. Also from my mum, I got a new Kath Kidson purse. I actually saw this, we went shopping like, oh, like September, August time maybe, and when I went to Ireland, my we got stuck in some like really heavy rain, like I've never seen rain like it, and I've never got so wet. Um, and my it sort of soaked through my rucksack which is kind of like waterproof but obviously not and damaged the purse that i have which i've had for quite a few years so but i was still quite upset because it's a nice purse um so i was a bit upset i mean it's still usable but you know it just looks a bit like water damage now um and i saw this purse when my mum and i were out shopping and said that i really liked it and she obviously remembered and kindly gave it to me for Christmas. So it opens up like that and you've got like loads of space for cards, which is always brilliant. Um, and then space for like notes in there. And then it's also got like a cash like purse, what do you call it, coins bit as well, um, which you can open up in that bit as well. Um, obviously the price isn't on it. And I don't think this one is available anymore because I remember looking just before Christmas and they didn't have it but like the actual design is is pretty standard so if you're looking for a new purse Kath Kidson do do some really nice ones um but I just really liked this like dark blue with the pink flowers on so I need to transfer everything now into my new purse and somehow find a way of making sure if I get stuck in rain again that my purse bits do not get wet 
So I've got a few more like makeup y bits to show you that I kindly was given for Christmas. The first one came in this like, well it was just like a little brown box and I thought oh what's that? And then I opened it and it was wrapped like this, um, which got me very excited because I have never, I've never had Charlotte Tilbury makeup before. I've been to the shop um, and had a little like look around when my mum and I went to Covent Garden. Um, but it's something that, again, I've just never really been able to justify buying for myself when I haven't really got the money. So when I opened this up, I was just insanely excited. And it came, um, well, you get like this massive, like long list. And I think this is like all the different lip colors that they do. Um, it also came with a little free gift, which is the scent. Um, scent of a dream so you'll be interested to try that and then um i've got a feeling this was a free gift as well actually which is the legendary lashes it's like a little uh four milli four milliliter one um which is quite nice as well and then the actual like thing that my mum bought was the luxury palette color coded eyeshadows and she got it in I don't know if it actually says, oh, the Vintage Vamp. So, if I can get into it. So it just looks like that, a really like classic Charlotte Tilbury um, casing. And then inside, let me try and do that, there we go. I don't know how well you can see the colors there, but they are just, they're gorgeous. They're sort of like, they're quite neutral, but they are on the sort of like rose gold pinky spectrum. Again, I'll try and get a close up of that for you because you're not going to be able to see it very well. Um, and this is the one that I kind of, when I went to the shop, like, it must have been like two years ago now, I gravitated towards and swatched and thought it was just really, really pretty and very me. I think it actually says it's for like, it's, it goes well with like green eyes, which I don't have, but I have hazel eyes, so. <laughs> I think it doesn't really matter. Um, so thank you so much to my mum for that because I am so excited to um, use some Charlotte Tilbury makeup. My mum did actually get me some other, uh, something else from Charlotte Tilbury as well. And um, she put this in my stocking, I think. And so I opened it and it was this little Hot Lips mini celebrity lip charms. And I couldn't, I remembered asking for it, but I was like racking my brain thinking like, what is it, what is it? Um, so I opened it up and oh my goodness, <laughs> you get the tiniest, cutest little lipsticks in the world. They are so pretty. They've got like little, um, they've got the C like CT uh, monogram kind of thing on it. And then little, like tiny little stars as well, like engraved into it. And they are just adorable. Um, so basically you get Karina's Love and they just, I just, oh, they're the cutest. So you get these tiny, tiny little lipsticks, which I'm so, so, well, I'm excited to try, but at the same time, I don't want to like ruin them. So there's that one. There is then, uh, what else is there? Secret Salma, which is a sort of darker, more like a new, well, Kind of nudie pinky, dark pink. And then the last one is Kim KW. And that is a very like nude, neutral colour. Um, again, I will get a close up of these ones for you. Um, but they're just so cute. And it's I think it's a really nice way of like trying some lipsticks without buying the whole like full bullet to start with. So yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing those. I keep saying that for everything. Um, and then a couple more bits of makeup that I received um, were the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle, which is the like dandelion blush, more, but it's more like of a highlight color. Um, let me just see if I can get the brush out. So yeah, it's really like nice shimmery, um, kind of pinky, Color, which I think will look gorgeous. Um, apparently my mum like really struggled to get that one. She had to look in so many different places. 
so thank you for trying to get that and then this one is just oh i don't even know how to describe this so it's the ciate mermaid glow illuminating rainbow highlighter i mean look at the packaging to start with how pretty is that and then inside oh i just i yeah i'm lost for words the packaging is a well it's gorgeous as well again i will try and get some close-ups of this to put in so you can see it properly but the inside if i can work out how to open it <gasps> oh, i just i just can't look at that it's oh it's rainbow sparkly highlighter i mean what more could a girl want seriously i just I don't even I don't even want to start using it it just looks so pretty um so yeah that is from Ciate and I know that um was it Makeup Revolution did one that was kind of similar and I looked for it for ages but I never found it so when I saw the Ciate one it's a bit more expensive obviously which is why I put it on my Christmas list and oh I was just so excited when I opened it up. So if you've been watching me for a while you will probably know that I'm a little bit obsessed with Percy Pigs from Marks and Spencers and I did actually get some Percy Pigs, hang on, um, I did actually get some Percy Pigs for Christmas. I got the Christmasy ones which I think are one of my favourites actually, they're slightly different taste. Um, I don't know actually what it is that's different about them but they have, apart from the fact they have the little like red hats on. So my mum got me quite a few packets of these to be getting on with so I'm quite happy about that but then also in my advent calendar possibly uh one of the gifts that I opened in that was a Percy Pig umbrella um it's also got the little sheep on it and yeah I just think it's really cute again this is something my mum really struggled to find we saw it originally when we were in Ireland and she kind of thought oh that's a good idea for a present like I'll go and have a look when we get back to like England and maybe get one so she went to our local um, m and when we got back to England and couldn't find them anywhere um, and then in the end I think she was like wandering around and you know when they have like the trolleys of stock um, they had like a trolley that they were kind of of stock they were like getting rid of and there were some of these on there it might have only been this one actually and she saw it and she just said oh can I buy one um, and they were a bit like oh I don't know but she managed to in the end and I don't actually have an umbrella which is ridiculous because you know who doesn't have an umbrella I think my last one must have broken um, so this will definitely be coming in very handy I'm kind of tempted to either put it in my bag or leave it in my car um, but yeah I mean who doesn't want a Percy Pig umbrella? I could literally sit outside in the rain, put my Percy Pig umbrella up and eat Percy Pigs. What more could you want? So something else that I got from my mum um, was this, which is the Self Care Daily Playbook. Mind shifting exercises to feel happy, blessed and loved. And this is from the Happy Empire. Happy is spelled H-A-P-P-I. And I've looked at them, I'm sure I've looked at them before. I can't remember like their story. Um, but I will link like the website and everything below um, but basically I saw this on I think it must have been one of the um, emails that they like sent out and it's all yeah it's basically just all about self-care which is something I really want to try and do better at I suppose um, so it's got like a little message from Fran who's the founder in the front and then like throughout the book there's just all like different things to fill in which is just the kind of thing I love like I love I, I don't know I'm weird I love filling stuff in so you know journals and things like that are just like right up my street and there's just so many different things to help you with like better self-care so I'm really really looking forward to trying to like start filling this in it's also got some really nice like quote pages in it as well so it says love and joy are waiting for me wherever I go um, so yeah, I just think that's a really nice, it would be a really nice gift to give someone if you think, if, well, if you know that perhaps they're struggling a bit with like mental health or, you know, just need a bit of extra self-care and they love like journaling and things like that. So yeah, I'm, I really like this and I'm looking forward to filling that one in. Okay, then from my sister Rosie and her boyfriend Callum, um, I opened um, my parcel and it had this little Ted Baker like wallet thing in it. Um, so I opened that and then it had a little bag in it 
And then I've got a feeling I opened that and there was another bag inside it or something. It was like literally like past the parcel. Um, but basically, they kindly gave me, you're not going to be able to see these, so I will get a close up, some gorgeous little Ted Baker um, earrings. They are kind of rose gold with a sort of pinky uh, stone in the middle and then like diamonds around the outside. And they are really, really pretty. I can't remember if I put these ones on my list or not. I remember putting some on my list. I can't remember which ones they were though or whether they chose these ones themselves but whichever way it was, they, they did a good job because they are really pretty and now that I've done this video, I can start wearing them. Possibly like one of my favourite presents that I got this year was a chip mug. Oh, I just, oh. I actually did know that I was getting this because um, I went into Primark with my mum a little bit before Christmas and they had some chip mugs which is the first time ever I have seen them and I got really excited and I was like oh my god I can finally buy a chip mug and my mum was like oh are you sure you really want to do that like just before Christmas and I was like I was like oh okay shouldn't I then and she was like well if you do you might end up with two chip mugs and I was like oh okay this one isn't actually from Primark this is the Disney store one um, so I guess I could have got the Primark one and had two but you know I do have a lot of mugs so maybe not um, and it's got the little like chip on it and he just he's so cute I'm so excited to finally be able to drink out of a chip mug the only sad thing that makes me upset is the fact that I don't have the Mrs Potts teapot um, which I know they've been selling in Primarks that I have just not ever seen um, but I finally got my chip mug so yeah and they do still sell this at the Disney store so I will link it down below so the last few little bits um, to show you one of my friends because I swap um, presents with a few of my friends um, some of them live nearby but some of them don't that I've met through like chronic illness websites and stuff um, and one of the my chronic illness friends I guess is Sophie and she sent me some body shop bits so I have got the body shop frosted plum shower gel which smells really good <laughs> um, and then also the frosted plum hand cream which is always a good thing in my book because I literally go through hand cream like anything um, and then she also got me the frosted cranberry body butter again I love body butters and like with my little self care mission this year um, one of the things is to start like moisturising a bit more because I moisturise my face but I kind of forget about the rest of my body so this will definitely be kind of giving me some motivation to actually moisturise better and then from the mental health group that I set up, they very, very kindly um, gave me a beautiful bunch of flowers on our last meeting before Christmas and also like a little pile of presents which was completely unexpected. Like, yeah, I had no clue whatsoever and apparently one of the ladies had messaged my sister and asked what kind of things that I like and my sister had obviously said Disney so one of the presents that they kindly gave me was the now that's what I call Disney four CD collection, including bonus Christmas disc. I was so excited to open this. I I have a now what I call Disney, which I must have bought more than 10 years ago now. So it's not got any of the new songs on it. And I don't think it's four CD either. I think there's like two CDs. So I am like seriously gonna get this put in my car and just be singing along to Disney. Because usually I just sing along to the radio, but if I can sing along to Disney, like, no one's going to want to drive with me, but I am so excited. It's just got so many songs on it. Literally, like, every single Disney song you could possibly think of is on here. Um, so, yeah, I just, I cannot wait to be singing Disney songs in my car all the time. Um, another Disney thing that my friend Lily gave me um, was a pair of Disney Store Eeyore pyjamas. And they are very very cute so on the t-shirt I haven't like undone them yet but it says here on the t-shirt it says weekend please stay a little longer which I know that feeling so well um they're short sleeved so I possibly won't wear them until it starts getting a little bit warmer but you can't go wrong with a pair of pajamas like I possibly have more pajamas than I do normal clothes and if I could live in pajamas I definitely would um and then my friend Charlie and her little um 
boy and girl Izzy and Joe um, gave me this blanket and I thought oh, that's a nice blanket it's like a like, turquoisey colour and then I realised that it's actually a mermaid blanket so this is going to be really difficult to show but basically you kind of put it on and it's got like a tail um, and I just think it's so cute like I love a good blanket because I get cold um, I am quite a cold person I'm just trying to make sure I don't like set this on fire with the candle behind me um, yeah I'm quite a cold person so you know of any kind of blanket is good for me but the fact it's a mermaid blanket like I could wear this mermaid blanket and put on my mermaid highlighter and I could be an actual mermaid couldn't I <laughs> so yeah thank you so much to Charlie and her little ones for that and my friend Kim who I met a few years ago now um was very sweet and sent me this makeup um well, I don't know, is it a makeup bag or a toiletries bag? Well, it says makeup bag. Um, it's from M&S and it's got this really, really soft red uh, pom pom on it and just says hello you in, so it's like this blue velvet and then it says hello you in gold sparkly writing and it's just lovely and big so it'll fit like a good proportion of my makeup in there. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really nice. So thank you, Kim, for that. Uh, and then also on the makeup theme, my friend Leanne, who I've known for years, sent me a Lipsy, uh, well, it's a Lipsy Ultimate Party Box. So you've got uh, like an eyeshadow palette and a brush. You've got um, an eyeliner, a couple of lip glosses, and then these like blush slash highlighter and contour palette as well. Um, and they are really just pretty colours, lots of sparkle, which is always good for me. And yeah, I'm excited to, uh, I've got lots of makeup to be playing with this year. So, you know, maybe one day you might see a little makeup video. I'm just not very good at makeup. So like I can put it on, but I wouldn't say I'm like any kind of expert. But you never know, I might do some blog posts about it or something. And then the last present that I would like to show you was from my friend Helen, who... I met I met her at college and I am the godmother to her small either her youngest boy um, and she very kindly gave me this which is a so you've got like this I'm trying to hold it without dropping it you've got like a glass teapot with the infuser bit in it because um, she obviously knows that I am like tea obsessed um, and then it comes with some loose leaf breakfast tea and some loose leaf earl grey and I was just saying like to my dad the other day like before Christmas that I really could do with like a teapot that has the infuser in it so like it was obviously fate or something um, so yeah infuse your own tea I don't actually know like where this came from so I'm not going to be able to link to it um, but it's really nice and these like tea um, jars as well would be really nice for actually just keeping tea in once I've used them up um, they'll look quite nice in our kitchen so I'm very excited to uh, have my own teapot and start making like proper well I make proper tea anyway but to actually have a teapot that I can make it in is really great okay so that is everything that I was going to show you today um, I just wanted to say like a massive thank you again to everybody that gave me such beautiful presents I was well and truly spoiled this year and I just yeah every year I just I just I don't know what to say because I don't feel like I deserve you know all these lovely presents so if you're watching this and you gave me a present just thank you so much I hope you know your, the presents that I gave to you guys were as nice as the ones that you gave to me um, and I will be writing letters but I'm afraid they are just going to take a bit more time than usual because of dissertation um, but yeah thank you and yeah, I hope you all had a really nice Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video and seeing what I got for Christmas. I'd love to hear your comments um, about the things that I got, but I'd also love to know what you guys got for Christmas. I love hearing about like what other people got. Um, and what did you do for Christmas as well? I just, I spent it with my family, um, just chilling out, playing games, eating food. It was, it was nice, just chilled out, which is what I think what we all needed. Um, I'd also love to hear your comments about what other videos you'd like to see me do this year. I am always looking for ideas. I've been kind of planning a bit and I have quite a few ideas of my own, but it's always good to get your like feedback as well. So please let me know. Um, 
yeah so if you did like it and you would like to see more videos this year please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel there's also a little notification bell that you can um, click on and it means that you will get notified every time I upload a video um, you can also go over and check out my blog which is ramblings of a Jaffa cat which is and I'll pop the link down below for that um, and I'm really trying to like post more on that this year as well like I'm just trying to up my whole blogging and YouTube game <laughs> um, but yeah I think that's everything now so I'll say goodbye and see you all very very soon bye